Welcome to Lecture Online. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about optics and uh, in particular we're going to touch upon the lens maker's equation. And just for reference I put the equation up here. Uh, 1 over the focal length of the um, lens is equal to n, n being the index of refraction of the lens, minus 1. Minus 1 because we assume that the lens is in a medium called air and of course the index of refraction of air is 1. Now, if we place the lens, for example, in water, then of course this would not be 1, that would be the index of refraction of the medium. And we'll do an example of that later. Then times the quantity 1 over R1 minus 1 over R2. R1 is the radius of curvature of the front end of the lens. R2 is the radius of curvature of the back side of the lens. Also what's important is in the setup we assume that the observer is to the right of the lens and so we call the radius of curvature positive greater than zero if the radius curves away from the observer or towards the left. If the radius of curvature bulges to the right towards the observer we call that, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we call that a positive, oh, I'm sorry, we call that a negative radius of curvature, so like this, this would be a negative radius of curvature. And finally, <clears throat> if, the, um, if there's no radius of curvature, if the surface is flat, then um, we have the radius of curvature equal to infinity. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so now the objective is to find the focal length of this particular lens, and let's go ahead and try to figure that out. So we use a lens maker's equation. We say that 1 over the focal length is equal to n minus 1 times 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2. Now, uh, let's say that the uh, index of refraction of the glass is 1.5. The index of refraction of the air, n equals 1. And uh, R1 is the radius of curvature of the front of the lens, and since the curvature is to the left, away from the observer, that will be a positive quantity. And you can see here that's a curvature, the center of curvature right there, so that would be a positive 20 centimeters. And let's say that the curvature of the second part of the lens, the back side of the lens right here, it bulges towards the observer, so we call that negative 20 centimeters for the radius of curvature. Plug it in the numbers, we get 1 over F, is equal to 1.5 minus 1 times 1 over R1, R1 is a positive 20 centimeters, minus 1 over R2, and R2 is a negative 20 centimeters. Okay, simplifying this we get 1 over F is equal to 1.5 minus 1 is 0 0.5 times 1 over 20, minus times a minus becomes a plus 1 over 20. Alright, continuing on over here, so we have a 1 over f is equal to 0 0.5 times 1 20th plus 1 20th. That's the same as 2 20th or 1 over 10. And so we have 1 over f is equal to 0 0.5 times 1 is 0 0.5 over 10. And then if we turn the equation around, we get f over 1 is equal to 10 divided by 0 0.5 or f is equal to 20, and of course since we use units of centimeters in our radius of curvature, the final result will also be in centimeters. So the focal length of this particular lens is 20 centimeters, which is interesting when you think that that's also equal to the radius of curvature of both sides of the uh, lens. So this is a converging lens, it's a positive focal length that makes this a converging lens, and by now I think we are pretty familiar with that kind of shape lens being converging lens. Alright, I'll do some more examples of different shape lenses to see how we find the focal length of different kinds of lenses.